Hello everybody from Munich to Lima. First of all, I would like to apologize that I am not with you in person. I seriously hurt my shoulder and uh, the doctors told me that I'm not allowed to travel. So uh, I tried to negotiate, but as a believer in STEM and science, I, I finally, uh, against my preference, um, obeyed. So uh, this is a recording. Um, but nonetheless, it is really my honor and my pleasure to salute Dr. Luis Varela Pineda, Director of Universitat Cayetano Heredia. Thank you for hosting the third international STEAM seminar, which is the annual event of the STEAM Forum Peru. I would also like to salute Instituto Apoyo and its Executive Director Maite Morales, who is also coordinator of the National STEAM Forum Peru. Excellencies, authorities, dear participants, ladies and gentlemen. During my last visit to the primary school in Chilca, one of our partner schools about 60 kilometers from Lima, I had a long conversation with Julia, a nine-year-old girl. She told me she could never go to school alone because it was too dangerous. There were organ dealers on the lookout for victims, but she keeps going to school because she has a dream. She wants to become a doctor. She asked me if she would need to attend secondary school to become a doctor, and if I myself had attended secondary school. It really touched me. Part of it was the enormous determination of the child and her dream. But it was also clear to me that so much of what those of us in the room in Lima and here myself take for granted simply can't be taken for granted by everyone. Personal safety, solid infrastructure, access to education, a job, and a regular income. The school director knows that too. 1,010 children are taught at his school. And he is convinced that education, and STEM education in particular, is the key to self-determined life and breaking free of poverty. That's why the rector works with Experimento, the education program of the Siemens Stiftung. The program is much more than a tool for experiments. It uses inquiry-based learning to teach kids about science and technology, it helps them improve their critical thinking. It strengthens their skills in communication and cooperation. These are, in my opinion, the building blocks for challenging careers and employability overall. That is why STEM education has been at the top of the education agenda in many countries for years, and why so much good research goes into this field around the world. But at the same time, we've seen other problematic issues becoming more complex. The OECD, and especially Professor Schleicher, often reminds us that careers based on pure repetition are in decline. More and more, it's robots that are taking on these jobs. However, careers that emphasize creativity are on the rise. Today, it's less about memorization and control strategies, but much more about elaboration strategies, the ability to link ideas together. With digitalization, the challenge is not standardization or the sheer possession of knowledge. Knowledge is there, it's everywhere. The challenge is in finding solutions and tapping into the new potential. Today's world is about creativity, and creativity is the basis for innovation. Unfortunately, these skills are not being developed enough through traditional school learning. Experimento is on the right track with inquiry-based learning, and so is the work of so many of you united at the STEAM Forum today. But I believe we need to take the next step. A step which involves the whole person in the process. 
making each person's own self part of the narration once again. If we want to nurture and shape development, we need more than just an analytical connection to subject matter. We need a spiritual and an emotional connection as well. Our souls need to be prepared for the future too. This is where the letter A comes into play. STEM becomes STEAM. The A can mean a lot. The use of visual arts, mu music education, linguistic and cultural aspects, literature or computer animated design. The methodology of design thinking can come into play. The trend is only just beginning. Some countries have already collected trailblazing experiences, while others are just becoming familiar with the idea. Anything that stimulates the imagination and the creative process is fair game and the possibilities are endless. But no matter what approach is taken, they all have one thing in common. Pupils and teachers are working together to build bridges across disciplines, linking the subject matter with their own individual lives. This also incorporates aspects of each cultural identity, which in turn strengthens social development and cohesion. This approach is a way to ease the tension between the simple life that we still find, particularly in rural regions, and the modern digital world. This is a way to make sure many people can take part in progress. I strongly believe STEAM will open new horizons by opening new avenues to approach these subjects. There's another effect as well. Even people who are not particularly drawn to the sciences by themselves can be won over. Values are an important aspect and also an important aspect for Experimento. Self-confidence, respect, tolerance, a sense of responsibility and solidarity are not hard facts that can simply be memorized or learned from a textbook. These are best honed in very specific situations with education that teaches the whole person, intellectually and socially. Mr. Prenzel will delve deeper into these connections later. We're tasked with finding new ways to make dreams like Julia's reality. And in these areas, we can learn a lot from Latin America. It always fascinates me to see the consistency and the vision here when it comes to these ideas. And I am very happy, my dear Maite Morales, that we have such an enthusiastic partner in you and the Instituto Apoyo. Thank you so much for the successful conception and organization of today's international seminar and also for the coordination of the STEAM Forum throughout the year. And again, my warmest greetings to all of you in the room. I'm really glad that everybody could make it and I would love to be amongst you. My deepest thanks to Luis Varela Pinedo, rector of Universita Cayetano Heredia, which is now hosting and co-organizing the International STEAM Seminar of the STEAM Foro Peru for the second time. We are in a very inspiring setting, and I am sure that there will be a rich exchange of ideas today. The STEAM Forum Peru is doing important work for the future of this country. The collective approach of stakeholders from public, private, and civil society sectors creates trust, focus, and synergy. It unlocks enormous potential regarding comprehensive education, technology, and culture. This kind of education creates chances. Chances to work, to earn a living, and to take part in society. Chances for further economic development in Peru and a functional community chances for social stability and, in the end, democracy and peace. This kind of education changes a person's view of the world. It shows the connection be between cause and effect on issues such as biodiversity, climate change, environmental protection or health. 
These are very complex issues of global proportions that also have an enormous local impact. For me, it calls to mind the floods in many regions of Peru and the water shortages in other areas. I think of the snowstorms in the capital of Chile, the last one was over 40 years ago, or the giant piece of a glacier that broke away in Antarctica. I also think about the hurricanes and wind speeds up to 400 kilometers per hour, which we have just seen in, in the Philippines. Such wind speeds will simply blow away cities and with them our societies. We are at a turning point, the dimensions of which are yet to be determined. Driven by digitalization, many aspects of our lives are changing. The way we live, the way we work, the way we create things, and the way we communicate. And it's all happening at an exponential rate. Anyone can picture the distance you'd cover by walking 30 paces or 30 steps. Well, from here to there, which you can't see in the camera. But taking 30 steps exponentially, one, two, four, 16, 256, and so on, can we picture that? Humans have difficulties in picturing exponential development. But taking 30 steps exponentially are enough to circle the globe 20 times or to reach the moon two and a half times. Clearly, exponential rate of development is breaking new ground. But to recognize and utilize the chances that are there as a result, we need basic knowledge on the one hand and multidisciplinary approaches to learning on the other. And if these lessons can be taught in a playful way, one that puts children's inherent curiosity to use and has them working together to explore and help each other, then learning becomes fun and the lesson will be remembered. In concrete terms, this means less teaching at the front of the class and more collaborative learning based on issues that are current and relevant for society. That is also the recipe of uh, success of Experimento, which is now being used in three continents, 12 countries, four languages. So far, our age-adjusted experiments have reached more than 600,000 children worldwide, including approximately 500,000 in Latin America. We've been working with Experimento here since 2011, and we're now up to 2,199 schools and 6,660 teachers have attended training to learn how to bring kids closer to the natural sciences. It's wonderful to look at those numbers. Our experience with Experimento has shown that the joy of discovery and the fun side of learning is quite strong at a young age and that relatively simple means can create a lasting impact. We'll hear about impact from Mrs. Lankes later when she talks about quality monitoring and evaluation. So questions like, how do you make a light bulb glow? What can you, how can you purify contaminated water? What causes natural disasters? And how can we counteract their effects? These questions are fascinating for children and it is essential to teach the teachers first. And we know that these questions are essential to them as well, and that they're curious themselves as well. Competent teachers and good material, that is the foundation for good instruction. This is why we consider it very important that teachers who want to work with Experimento complete training courses first. And it's wonderful to see those training courses when teachers who are so passionate about what they do discover even new paths of, of connecting with each other and with children in the classroom later. The teachers, the experimental teachers, also receive access to our global online platform where they can download additional comprehensive materials free of charge. That includes complete lesson plans, worksheets, tests, textbooks, videos, or teaching software. 
these open educational resources are an essential part of Experimento. Despite re recommendations from UNESCO and OECD, there are still too few high quality and freely accessible teaching materials. But this is very important in building the media literacy of children and establishing, establishing educational justice. It's about challenging gifted pupils so their potential can unfold while simultaneously supporting anyone who struggles, bringing everyone in different ways along the same path to a prosperous future. The fact that in the end, a society can change, that violence and aggressive tendencies can be reduced while self-confidence and social behavior can grow, is something we have seen in Medellin. Last year in Medellin, we had the first meeting of the partner institutions of Siemens Stiftung from the countries in the Pacific Alliance, Mexico, Colombia, Peru, and Chile. And in Santiago, we had the first Latin American network gathering with participants from, Agen uh, from Argentina, Brazil, Chile, Peru, Colombia, Mexico, and Germany. The value of these networking meetings, regardless of whether they are held at the local, regional, or trans-regional level, cannot be overstated. And they provide, they provide key leverage in advancing education and exponential steps in terms of reach, content, and didactics. Therefore, we should support, we should support them however we can. And Medellin is a specific example of how this can work. And I'm really happy that, that our friends in Medellin could share their experiences with Experimento um, used in, in the more difficult areas of the town, um, the, cha the changes that were possible for the children, where aggression went down and self-confidence went up through inquiry-based learning, through working in groups, and through, through science. One of those networks on a bigger political scale is the Pacific Alliance. And this alliance in particular contains great potential. Within the alliance, the focus of educational cooperation has been at the university level so far. If we can manage to get STEAM education throughout the educational chain on the agenda at that level of the Pacific Alliance, it would provide significant leverage toward increasing quality of education in general. And we from Siemens Stiftung obvi obviously are prepared to play a part. My dear Maite Morales and my dear Ulrike, it seems you have your work cut out for you. You have both taken on the task of making dreams reality. Dreams of kids like Julia who wants to become a doctor. Dreams of so many other kids who imagine a society without violence, where everyone has a chance. Dreams of the digital creatives, who we just saw a few weeks ago at the five-day International Fab 13 in Santiago. One of Ulrike's favorite phrases is building bridges. And as a bridge builder, you're tirelessly on the job. In Germany, as a representative of Latin American countries, and in Latin America as the ambassador of the Siemens Foundation. You're building networks, initiating new projects, and supporting existing ones. Thank you, Ulrike. We owe it to your efforts that we can be so active in Latin America. And working in Latin America really means a lot to us at Siemens Foundation. I can only say how grateful I am, because I learned so much from our Latin American partners. And I am truly inspired by the creativity and the momentum that we meet with all our partners. So creativity and momentum like the one that led to the creation of the STEAM Forum Peru. It is an honor and a pleasure that Siemens Stiftung was able to take part in putting together this year's National STEAM Forum in Peru. But for now, I'd like to wish you all an inspiring day and many good discussion at the third international seminar of Forum STEAM Peru. And being not able 
to be there in person, I'll make sure to follow everything via live streaming. So thank you so much. <laughs>